Tonight, a comeback story. About a century ago, a tiny blue butterfly called Xerxes and once everywhere vanished. But a new effort is taking flight to ensure the butterfly's closest living relative has a future. CBS's Juliet Goodrich in San Francisco reports for tonight's Weekend Journal. At the Presidio in San Francisco, researchers, community scientists, and park officials gathered in hopes of filling a vacancy. Among the volunteers, students Candace Mills and Eva Driggs. It's already perfect for them here. Yeah. Perfect home. From a cooler bag. It's the last one. Meet the new residents. Inside each container, a single silvery blue butterfly sipping on a cotton ball soaked in fruit punch Gatorade. It took 30 years years to restore these sand dunes. With these butterflies, a historic effort is now underway to restore another lost treasure. The first thing that we're going to do is put this mesh over and release it underneath the mesh. The butterflies pop out, the mesh is removed, and they take off. There. Volunteers track their flight for about an hour. By bringing back this butterfly, we are bringing back more of what used to be here. Scientists want to see if this batch of silvery blues will take up residence and perform a critical function once done by an extinct butterfly called the Xerxes blue. We are expecting that the silvery blue will fill the gap that was left by the Xerxes extinction. Before the gold rush, the Xerxes thrived in coastal dunes around San Francisco. It kept the habitat healthy by pollinating plants and serving as food for other critters. Rapid urban development destroyed the dunes and that destroyed the Xerxes. At the Academy, tests confirm the closest living relative to the extinct Xerxes is the silvery blue. You know, this is a pretty magical moment. Phoebe Parker Shames is a wildlife ecologist with the Presidio Trust. She says adding the silvery blues into the habitat builds resilience into a world that's facing climate change. So far this year, about 50 silvery blues were released. Eva and Candace saw one already laying her eggs on some deer weed. It was really cool, honestly. New hope taking flight. Juliet Goodrich, CBS News, San Francisco.